how does you know a, a perf lady from Curtin University end yeah. up on the world stage? Well, I, I, I didn't ever think, I, I've never thought yeah. that I, I'm in a world stage, but um, I guess... Well, you are. Yeah. You know, uh, what, what are the steps that we can follow to, okay. to, you know, to, to walk your footsteps? Yeah. I, I think um, a lot of it comes up from the necessity uh -huh. of not being isolated. Because we do live in the most isolated city yeah. in the world. And I think for me to keep my mind engaged all the time, I feel that even though Perth offers so much beauty and so much um, space, mm -hmm. uh, not just in terms of personal growth, mm -hmm. not just in, in terms of uh, your connection with the land uh, and, and, and the people here. It is extremely important to keep yourself abreast. But how do you make that connection, that tipping point? That? into mm. you know well being where you uh, are, uh, for example have I'm you been doing this for a long time yes maybe? yes i've i've always lived in uh, i've never lived in one city for more than two months <laughs> for more than 15 years uh, i think it started off when i was an academic teaching for the university yeah. i'm always living out of my luggage because you know i'll be teaching at the local campus but then i'll also go to hong kong singapore uh -huh. malaysia and teach what, what and i love that i used to teach international global communications no, i used I to teach yeah. information systems uh, in the area of e-commerce uh -huh. uh, and then I was also teaching things like uh, strategic marketing, I was teaching things like um, uh, oh, this has been a long time. Jeez, all these a are very difficult <laughs> subjects that I, I, I shiver when I think about. <laughs> yeah. contemporary, policy. Oh. Co contemporary issues of innovation, right? How, how do you think forward? Uh -huh. uh, and I remember 20 years ago when I was first a lecturer, it was interesting because that's back then we didn't, years. yeah, Back then we didn't have uh, iPhone and yeah. we didn't have, um, what do you call that, uh, apps, mobile apps. The connectivity. Yeah, yeah. But, but even back then, people were saying that, look, with the way the world is moving, it is going to become a very interesting one, not just for businesses, but also for labor. Mm -hmm. For example, even back 25 years ago, I remember we were taught and then we have to teach the students to think differently when it comes to working from home or working out of the normal office area and how do you make yourself um, demandable, how do you make yourself uh, somewhat of a, an asset for organizations mm -hmm. without being bogged down by tradition like the company is going to take care of you right. or you're going to have a long term employment Tenancy, yeah. with the same company so those days were long gone long gone long yeah. gone and it was going to be disrupted anyhow mm -hmm. and so i saw that happen over mm -hmm. the last 20 years and other things would be you know the the interconnectivity mm -hmm. between humans and between people because of the convergence of technology right so that's also another thing right um, we see a lot of disruptors now and happening at a very accelerated rate mm -hmm. nowadays yep. and it's all because of that so, so Sandy, I remember yeah. you as mm. one who holds the passport to any career you want because sure. of your, your, your academic uh, uh, excellence. Mm. Um, you know, you could have chosen anything for profit and mm. make, uh, you know, I, I think you're living very well right now, but you, you would be, you know, you know, the next Uber or next whatever disruptor that may mm. be, uh -huh, and you choose not for profit. <laughs> uh, changing the world, yeah, uh, uh, and uh, you know it's something quite absurd for uh, for someone of uh, our background, you know, being sure. an Asian and being from Singapore, <laughs> Southeast Asia. Yes. It's all yeah. about the money. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with me? I sometimes ask myself that same question. I think I was very much influenced by my father and my mentor. Um, right with regards to my values. Uh -huh. So my father was a military man right. and even after he retired, he was always contributing his time. Despite having a, a, a young family, he was always doing things for the community. Mm -hmm. And I remember prior to his pass, passing, uh, he actually said, you can't just live for yourself, you've got to live for the community. Oh. So that was something that stayed on with me. And um, he was someone who, who has a lot of integrity, someone who lo is loved by people and loves people. He can talk to anyone and he, he's just someone who wants to make a contribution to society. So I, I think I grew up with those values. Not that there's anything wrong marrying well or you know, taking care of family and all that and, and becoming a good businessman. I mean, mm. my father was also a very 
brilliant businessman. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for him, it is extremely important to serve your country, serve the people. Um, so you're taking it to another level. Yes. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, I really don't know. But I was also very fortunate in the second half of my life, I met uh, this mentor. His name is Carl Jacob. And again, he's, he's one of the best mentor I, I can ever have. And, and he's someone who is who's like a compass to me. Mm -hmm. Every time when I feel lost um, with the direction I'm going, I can always count on him. And he always he's always a, someone, despite the fact that you know, he went through a lot too. Uh, he always said, you know, you you must always exercise, you must always exercise compassion, not just for others but also for yourself. And um, he tries to basically guide me to the right way. What does he mean by compassion for yourself? So, say for example, you know, like the Type A kind of people, we're very <laughs> yeah. driven and we are always <laughs> no, wanting to be at our best. <laughs> We always want to be at our best, we always want so to do... So you sometimes forget. Yeah, you sometimes forget uh, why you're doing this and uh -huh. sometimes you forget like, you know, you need a break too and you're uh -huh. not perfect and that, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. So it is extremely important to do that. And um, he, my work ethic literally came from these two amazing men. So my father was a military officer, he worked really hard, he worked really hard to put me uh, to school, to give me an education um, outside Singapore and and of course I met this mentor at the university and again his his biggest role in my whole life is to educate me with anything that I want to learn and he always took the time so you know, is he based here yes yes he's from Perth right. he's from uh, Perth. Uh, a lecturer a professor he or? was a lecturer at Curtin University and um, in fact the name of my company is an uh, is a homage to him. Uh, he built his own ship and his na the name of his ship is Verity and I remember we spent a lot of time on his ship when he was mentoring me uh, during my honours days and during my PhD days and so on. Uh, so you know, go way back? Yeah, go, go, yeah we, we, we go way back. Uh, I met him when I was in my first year here as a uni student back in 1995 and so yes and every second month we, we still meet. Yeah, wow. and catch up. Yeah, so. So the, uh, the the people whom you meet early in life would really shape. Correct. Who you are Absolutely. In the Absolutely.